All right, so I think it's time that I check out PlayStation 5 with my ViewSonic PX701 4K HDR 240 Hz 4.2 millisecond uh, projector. And uh, let's go ahead, let's do this. We're gonna check out a couple of games, uh, Call of Duty, Cold War, and uh, Gran Turismo. We might throw in a Ratchet and Clank, you know, just to see. Actually, as a matter of fact, I might jump in with the Ratchet and Clank first. Rift apart. All right, so let's uh, go ahead and uh, jump in on Ratchet and Clank right now. Rift apart. PlayStation 5. This is a 135 inch. I'm in my other room. The cool thing about this projector, it's very portable, so you can move it around. So that's a cool thing. Uh, to achieve 135 inches, that's what she said. You're gonna need probably uh, 13 feet. Uh, you might have to adjust uh, the lens a little bit, but that's for, for the whole separate video. All right, here we go, Ratchet and Clank. Let me uh, close the door. You can see my shadow. This is 3,200 lumens light that's being projected here, and it's pretty darn good. Let me turn on the volume. The speakers, the only negative I have about this projector are the speakers, but honestly, who's gonna be using a projector speaker? You're gonna be using a your own you know, receiver, home theater receiver, or your sound bar, so you're gonna have your own audio equipment to begin with, which I would assume you have. All right, let's do this. Let's resume. Wow, that's great, dude. There's my controller right here. Um, let me turn on my light. I just want to show you my controller here. This projector, hands down, is the best projector for gaming. Uh, and I do mean that. I don't say that lightly. This is my second day with this projector, and I can tell you that this projector right here, if you love gaming, this is it. We'll make this a thumbnail right here. Right here. Right here, here we go. Wow, this looks phenomenal. HDR. People say contrast ratio is not good on this projector. Well, it's not the greatest, you know, but it's definitely good. Yeah. I mean, for $900, you can't expect projectors to look like OLED. Uh, I really get annoyed when people start comparing projectors to OLED. Listen, man, if you care about a black levels and a contrast ratio, then you gotta go with the OLED. Uh, but you gotta remember, this is projector. It's projecting a light into a wall. So you can't expect to have the perfect pitch black levels, you know. But we do live in a world where people will bitch and moan about anything these days. And people who bitch and moan about this kind of stuff they never have anything to begin with. And I know I'm right about this. That's why they bitch and moan, because they, they don't have anything. So they, that's what they do, they bitch and moan. And the worst part is, some of these people are judging this projector based on what they're seeing on screen. I'm not doing this video to show you what I'm seeing on screen. The reason you're seeing something on the screen is so that way 
I have credibility and you know that I have a projector I'm not, and I'm not talking out of my butt. The reason you're watching this video is to hear my opinions and thoughts and observation on this projector and this particular game and this console that's running PlayStation 5 on this projector. Let's switch to a game mode. How do you switch to a game mode? You click on the menu, you go right here to the color mode. This is the shortcut way. You click on the color mode and then you switch to a gaming mode and it's going to ask you, would you like to enable ultra fast input? You click yes, activate. And when you do that, now you're going to have a lower latency. There it is. You still have 4K HDR, but look at the latency. Look how smooth it is. Look at that. There's my control with it. Unbelievable, guys. This is unbelievable. Here, let me turn on my light so you can see my controller. Look at that. All right, so let's go jump into uh, Call of Duty, Cold War. Let's do that. Wow, that is super fast. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. Wow, look at that, dude. All right, let's just start the mission right away. All right, this mission, it's Vietnam. This is gonna be pretty cool. All right, so this mission right here, it's gonna be in Nam. I'm just trying to adjust my camera. This is gonna be pretty cool. Here we go. Nice. Look how fast that is, dude. Look at my controller. Look at this. This projector, it's unbelievable. Wow. This looks amazing, man. Hey, Fletcher. How's the arm? It still hurts like hell, but at least I can move it. Very impressive, dude. And what's even more impressive is the latency. Look at this latency. This is 4K HDR with a very low latency, man. 
Look at my controller here. Uh, this is crazy. Forget about your monitor, man. You got a 130 inch right here with a low latency with a PlayStation 5. This projector, really, it's impressing me for the gaming right now. Wait, we're in the wrong way. Let me skip through this. Hey Sam, you know reading that shit's gonna make you go blind. Yeah? That's why I want it all up here. Now here with Sims. Usually bring out the best in each other. We got a new assignment. Here we go. Let it rip! Look at that, man. Nice. Here we go. I have to turn that up because of the music. You know, cannot have that copyrighted shit. You know how YouTube is. If they hear a music, that's it, you know. But look at this, man. Look at that latency, how low it is. And that lower input lag. For a, for a projector with HDR and high peak brightness of lumens light uh, for a, I mean guys uh, this is no brainer this view sonic 4k projector uh, this is it for 900 bucks you're not gonna get anything better than this all right here we go Nice. I feel like James Bond right now. <laughs> Wrecking shit up. Here we go. Wow, that's amazing, dude.
So there you have it, man. Uh, Call of Duty looks amazing, plays amazing. Uh, Ratchet and Clank. Uh, I mean, what can I tell you? The fact that you have low latency, 4.2 milliseconds and 240 hertz refresh rate where it's available on a big giant projector that supports high dynamic range and hybrid log gamma HDR format on top of 4K pixel shifter and 3200 lumens light uh, peak brightness of that light. Um, I'm trying to find something wrong with this projector. So far, I can't find it. For the gaming, this is no-brainer. If you have PS5 or Series X or S, this is no-brainer. I mean, look at this, bro. Nice. Ah, well. Fuck it. All right, motherfucker. Jesus. Ah, well. Well, there you have it. So I don't know if there's anything else I can say um, that I haven't already said. Uh, so far, this is my second day. I'm very impressed with this projector in terms of the beautiful colors, 4K, high lumens brightness light for the HDR, which is required. I'm very impressed with uh, low latency, 4.2 milliseconds. I'm impressed with a uh, 240 hertz availability that you can do that. Uh, look, this is no brainer. Like I said, I think I said this four times already and I'll say it again. If you want to have a gaming projector, look no further than a P5 
PX701 ViewSonic uh, projector. This thing here, you have to see it in person. Uh, you know, you're watching this through a cell phone or on your laptop. You know, it doesn't do it justice. This is something you have to see and you have to experience to see just how good it is. And for $900, dude, look at the value that you get here. You're getting 4K HDR projector, so you can watch your 4K HDR movies. And on top of you watching your 4K HDR movies on 300 inch screen, you also get to enjoy your video games uh, with a low latency and 240 hertz. You can connect your computer and, and enjoy 240 hertz if you want. There's a lot of benefits and a lot of value uh, with this projector. Not to mention that it has two HDCP 2.2 HDMI inputs. That means that you can connect both your PS5 and your Series X onto this projector. Uh, I'm enjoying this, as you can tell. Uh, I will do more tests on it. I got a bunch of videos to work on it as well. In terms of picture settings and stuff like that, I will have that. One of the cool things about this projector is it does have this option for you to calibrate if you want. Here, I'll show you. Um, just to show you here really quick, as you can see in the HDR mode, it does have uh, HDR and HLG, which is right over here, when you click on the HDR mode. So you do have HLG, Hyperlog, Gamma, and HDR. So there's two different HDR formats available it would be nice if they implement Dolby Vision with a firmware update that would be great with this kind of peak uh, brightness of lumens light um, you do have your light source mode like uh, I usually keep it on a normal this is perfect for you to uh, keep the longevity of your lamp okay I will have a separate video talking about a lamp and uh, how to change it, uh, where to buy it on Amazon, stuff like that. I will have a separate video on that in the future. Uh, lamps are not that expensive. They're $60 and you change them once a year or whatever. Uh, it's not like a, a big of a deal. Before I end this video, there's another cool feature called uh, Brilliant Color. This is what brings you that color gamut right here, the Brilliant Color. I can turn it down or I can turn it off and look at the color. The color now is just washed out. And look at the color right now. As I'm uh, enhancing the color gamut, I think you can see it. you can see how brighter the color gamut becomes. Actually, what this does, it's, it enhances the, the light of the color. So the color becomes more vibrant, more rich. Uh, this is another cool feature. And this really brings HDR to uh, a next level. Look at that. Look how brighter it becomes. There it is. So what this basically does, it enhances that color gamut brightness. That's what I meant to say. The color gamut brightness, it's enhanced with much brighter, brighter light on that color gamut. Okay, I will talk more about this into detail. The picture settings will be a separate video and I will talk about that separately. Uh, so, well, there you have it. PlayStation 5, what can I say? You've seen it in this 25 minutes. You've seen it for yourself. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below, and I'll be sure to answer it whenever I get to it. Thank you for watching.